Now, on their website, they didn't say what part of the chicken they used to make this. Um, so, of course, I emailed them and said, hey, what part of the chicken do you use? Welcome back, Dave East London. So today we went to a place that we've been trying to go to. I think this is about the third attempt, don't you think, Lucinda? I do believe. Um, and there's always been a huge lineup. So today we said we're going to go there before they open. We're going to go on their earliest day of the week. Tuesday's the first day they open. It's uh, April 20th today. Tuesday, April 20th. Happy 420 to everyone out there. Um, so we went there, 15 people in front of me in the line, 10 minutes before they opened, we got there. Ready. Well, that's the shortest line we've seen, isn't it, so far for this place? Yep. Holy. I'm going to park way out here, maybe somewhere. What do you think? Good idea? Um, there's restaurants everywhere around here with not a soul at them. So I'm really excited about this place. Buttermilk. Can I buy a vowel, Vanna? Buttermilk with no vowels. All right. Um, chicken sandwiches. I don't know, I got the, uh, oh, there's my napkins here. This thing's got some weight to it. So, let's have a look. Now, on their website, they didn't say what part of the chicken they used to make this. Um, so, of course, I emailed them and said, hey, what part of the chicken do you use? So they do use breast. Now, this one here is the honey popper. So, it has cream cheese, jalapenos, honey, and what they call their buttermilk sauce. Now I'm gonna be careful with this one here because she, she's leaking a little bit. But I'm gonna take a quick bite of this one. And maybe we'll get Lucinda over here because I got her one as well, so. The place is super busy. Hmm. Pretty good. Well, I got you an original, Lucinda. So it has pickles, coleslaw, and buttermilk sauce. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. No. Nope. I don't like the bun toast. I would like to see the bun toast on these. It's pretty good. Take a bite of that. Oh, yeah. How's that? That is so good. That's a pretty good chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. Now that sandwich is 12 bucks. The one I got was 13. Did I mention I had cream cheese on my guys? No. Cream cheese too. No, this is really nice with all the coleslaw and the pickles on it. Yeah. Now, they have fries, which they do up the same way as they do their chicken. You can also get chicken on the fries. I thought, should I get a side of fries? Because I normally would, right? Mm -hmm. So I said to them, are the fries fresh cut or frozen? The fries are frozen. I said, let me try one of your macaroni and cheese. So. Now they have a bunch of different macaroni and cheeses. This is just the side macaroni and cheese. So I added a pop and a side for $4.50. So this was just about $30 bucks plus tax, $33 and change. Well, let's try this. Looks very creamy. Mm. Panko crumbs on top. It's like a, uh, I don't think it's macaroni, I think it's like a little tea. What do they call, no, what do they call the curly pasta? Maybe Do you want to try this? I want to. Okay. <laughs> give me, give me. Now I was a little worried there because it's near the university and there's university students all around me. And do they have oak breaks at the university? Mm. We almost went to the university to film this, and I said, no, maybe better not go there. 
So we came to the railroad tracks. We think this place is all right, don't you? Oh yeah, it's very tasty. It's quite a sandwich. It's a big sandwich. It's a delicious sandwich. Is it worth the wait? I'm not sure it's worth the wait. You can't order ahead. All you can do is order and pick it up and leave. And they say the wait could be half an hour. I waited 25 minutes. Yes. So if it's worth the wait, well, I think it's pretty good. I think it might be worth the wait, but you might want to wait till a warmer day. Because yeah. it wasn't very warm today. <laughs> Maybe to wait. So that's it for this episode, I think. If you've been to Buttermilk without any bowels, leave a comment below. Of course, please hit the like button and subscribe. Share. And, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave, and this has been Dave Eats London. Bye.